All right, everyone. Welcome once again to Meal Solution Monday today, as we are going to be making a really fun dish with spaghetti squash here. So the dish that we're making today is a spicy chicken stuffed spaghetti squash. So before we get to the squash itself, I'm going to move you guys over here to my pan where we're going to be making um, what is going to be stuffed into the squash. See, somebody just mentioned in chat that you're not hearing or seeing anything. Is everyone else hearing and seeing right now? If you could let me know. Yes, okay, perfect. If you are not hearing or seeing anything, I'd suggest logging out and back in. All right, thank you for those thumbs up. Okay. So, like I said, this is a spicy chicken um, stuffed spaghetti squash recipe. Now, if you're not a fan of spice, there's a way that we can alter that a bit. So, the base of our spiciness is salsa, okay? This is our Nature's Promise Chipotle salsa. So, it is going to be a bit hotter than your mild um, salsa. So, if you would prefer not to have as much heat, then I would go the direction of a, um, a mild salsa, okay? So we're gonna be making a couple of adjustments to this recipe to make a smaller amount. So this recipe serves four in the sense that it gives, let me turn this down a little bit, it makes four servings of each person getting their own half of a spaghetti squash. I am not going to make four servings today. I'm only going to be making actually one serving, but um, we'll talk about different ways you can use the other half of the spaghetti squash. So this is a great recipe that you can take down a notch in terms of servings for just you or two people, however you want to do it. Hold on, guys. Got messy with the salsa. Let me get something to wash my hands up here. Um, I see somebody mentioned that you like my Halloween nails. Thank you, I'm a big fan too. All right, so we're taking this down a notch to serve one to two people. So the recipe calls for a whole jar of the salsa. This is a 16 ounce jar. Here, I made a mess on my jar, but don't pay attention to that. So I'm using half, all right? So I could potentially fill both of these halves of my spaghetti squash if I wanted to, probably not going to, but so taking that down to a half of a jar, here in my skillet, we want it to be bubbly. I already had my pan warm, so we're already getting those bubbles going there. Now, to this, we're going to be adding some chicken. Recipe calls for four chicken breasts, if you want to make for four people. You cube that up and put it in the salsa. Now, my game plan when I went to the store this morning was, was like, I'm going to get two chicken breasts. But then I said, you know what? No, I'm going to go even easier. And I'm going to get our Nature's Promise carved chicken breast strip. So I think this could be a quick and easy throw in rather than doing the regular raw chicken. Or you could get our Nature's Promise rotisserie chicken that we sell already pulled in the deli. I think I've showed you guys before. They come in containers that is our rotisserie chicken already pulled off of the bone. So I think either that or these strips could be a great alternative to having to uh, actually cook the chicken. So let me get this open here. Now, let me move my squash for a moment because I do want to cut these up just a little bit. So these come in nice sized pieces here. Once again, already cooked. These would be great to throw into a salad, um, to make chick a quick chicken salad if you wanted to. Really great convenience product there. So I think I saw some folks in chat saying that you've never had spaghetti squash before or you do love spaghetti squash and um, might try this recipe. So that's great. I'm just cutting these a little bit smaller into bite-sized pieces. Once again, this is what I'm what I'm making right now. It could probably feed two, but I'm only going to most likely make one. Could save this mixture to make another one the next day or use for something else. 
is decent all right in terms of size. So we'll get them in there. I would say that this would be about those two chicken breasts that we just talked about needing there. So now, where's my spoon? We're going to go ahead, mix this in with our salsa just to get it coated. Looking good. Now, if you were using raw chicken, you would want to cook that in your salsa for about six minutes to make sure that those um, cubed pieces cooked the whole way through. Now, since I'm using the pre-cooked, we don't need to worry about that um, because it's already good to go. We're merely just heating this up right now. I see the question, how much sodium is in the chicken that we're using right now? Um, it is 520 for a three ounce serving, okay? So I'm okay with that in the sense that I am not adding any other form of sodium to this dish besides potentially some cheese at the end if you wanted to. So therefore this meal is still gonna be under 600 milligrams of sodium, which is a good range, even if you are on a low sodium diet of 1500 milligrams of sodium, okay? So there we have our chicken, nice and warming up there. Gonna give that just another minute here on low while we work with our squash. Let me bring that back to life over here. Now, what I did um, to my squash is I've already cooked it here for you guys, but let me tell you how, okay? So once again, this is a quick and easy meal solution that you can whip together for lunch without it being hard. This spaghetti squash, I poked it, you can see the holes everywhere and I put it in the microwave between six to eight minutes, okay? Usually we do that length of a time so then we can then cut it in half and roast it in the oven. I did six to eight minutes, flipped it around and then did another six to eight minutes and now my squash is already cooked, okay? So all of this whole squash was cooked and ready to go in the microwave. So that's why it fits that bill of, like I said, an easy meal solution because we didn't have to spend time roasting it or anything of the such, okay? It was all in the microwave. Now, I will tell you guys that I live in a pretty old house and I may or may not have tripped the breaker when I did that because I have my dishwasher going at the same time and my microwave was running for a good while. So right before class, I uh, panicked and I was like, oh my goodness, I just broke my microwave, but went to the basement, got that figured out. <laughs> so here's my half of my squash. As you can maybe see, it's steaming, but definitely cooked. So I'm going to scrape out the inside here, these seeds and kind of this pulp mixture into um, another pan so we get rid of that. All right, and then in a moment, we will start scraping this so it actually looks like spaghetti. All right, I'm just gonna get a little bit of that there. Good, good, see how easy that was? Number one, easy to cut open. So if you did want to roast these, that's a great tip to microwave it first so it softens up a little bit so you can cut it open. That trick works well. Um, for both this type of squash, butternut squash, all of that, but then cook it a little bit longer in the microwave and it's actually done and ready to use. I saw somebody said, save those seeds to bake them as a snack. Absolutely. Um, if you were along with me last week for um, the produce spotlight class, we talked about doing that with, I think that's, that's the stem there. So I'm gonna leave that. We talked about doing that with the seeds and butternut squash and, and all of that. So very good idea there. So I am now going to turn, make sure this is, yep, turn that off and going to let this cool for a second. Now to my pan, let me get, let me get something here guys. Okay. To my pan, I'm going to take this off heat, move this back there. Okay. I am now going to add some yogurt. Now, 
Let's talk about the yogurt we're using today. So recipe calls for plain Greek yogurt. Um, hype about Greek yogurt being that it's going to be higher in protein than your regular yogurt. Always a great swap for sour cream and recipes like this, you know, on a baked potato, whatever you want to do. Now, I wanted to show you guys this yogurt specifically because we've had these for a little bit, but not too long. This is one of our newer items here where you can buy our brand of Greek yogurt in a four pack. We have this in plain as well as strawberry and blueberry. So if you're looking for a good lunch item to throw into the lunchbox, something easy for breakfast, we have these now. Or of course you can keep the big tub on hand um, to put in. So I'm gonna open one of these because um, I went this direction because I only need a quarter of a cup of yogurt since I halved the recipe. Now let me look here in chat, I see some questions. Um, you prick it how many times before putting it in the microwave? I couldn't tell you how many times I did. I probably did it at least 10 times. Okay, just to give it that nice vent um, to uh, to let the steam escape as it was cooking, but no set amount of time, just some good pricks all over it. Um, all of that. So let me see some other things in chat here. Um, took away their brand and said they were rebranding, but never brought back certain store brand like this pack. Okay, keep on the lookout for that. Because like I said, this is newer. Like just within the past couple months, I think I started seeing it near the end of summer. So maybe it just didn't hit your stores yet. Keep a lookout for it. It's not on like this back shelf. It's in like the deep part of the refrigerated section where the yogurt is. So just keep checking out for that. Now, as I said, I only need about a quarter of a cup of yogurt in here. So I'm not going to measure it out, guys. You totally could, but I'm just going to, this is my spoon for my squash, don't worry. I'm just going to kind of all, eyeball that, say, that's about a quarter of a cup going in there. Maybe a little extra for kicks, okay? So that's in there. Let's give that a stir. It's going to make this a little creamy, creamy, dreamy. There we go. Looking good. Now, any tips for pricking a spaghetti squash? Guys, I just held on to it and then took my fork, moved my hand, and went boom and pricked it. Um, so give it some force, okay? Not like a little prick, prick, prick. It's like a let's get the fork in there to prick, okay? That's that's how I go about it with some, um, some gusto, okay? So now what we're going to do is start scraping our sides of, um, oh, sorry, I thought you said picking, goodness, guys, I thought you said pricking. Any tips for picking a good spaghetti squash? Absolutely. So whenever you pick up the squash, give it a little knock. If it sounds hollow, that would be a good one to do, okay? So pick it up in the store. If it has a little bit of a hollow sound, that is a good way to know that you have a good squash, okay? Can this final dish be frozen? You could. Um, spaghetti squash is a little bit more watery than some other squashes, so you might run into a little bit of, of flavor loss with it, but I think that that would be, that would be fine. It'd be good, something good to experiment with. Here's my, look, is it spaghetti? Or is it squash? You don't know. Okay. All right. Let's throw that in there. Get this all good to go. Okay. I tell you what, guys, the microwave did a beautiful job cooking this. I have shown you guys recipes of roasting it before, slow cooker before. And now the microwave was here today and it did a great job. Okay, so there's that. Let's mix it in. Now, hmm, technically you could scrape the other one and have that in there. 
I kind of want mine to be a little extra salty. So I'm just sticking with what I got. Okay, just always keep that in mind when you're following our recipes on savory or following a recipe anywhere, you can make it your own and do it how you want. And that's, that's what I'm kind of doing today. So now, where'd my, oh, that spoon's covered in yogurt. Hold on guys, let me get another one. <clears throat> Hold on, I see your question in chat now. Um, what's the wattage of my microwave? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. It is a newer microwave. I'm not sure. The original weight of my squash, not sure. It was a smaller one. It was a smaller squash because I knew I was just going to be making this for me. Um, but I could see there being some logic between why you're asking me that question, but I don't have the answers to it. This is looking yum. Um, put this in here. Okay. Okay. Now, once again, I did make enough chicken that this should fill another squash. So I'm not going to overload it here. But look at that so far. Now, let's move over. Okay. Now here's for the fun stuff. If you want to get fancy dancy, however you want to do it, I'm going to add some cheese. Okay. The recipe calls for, um, I'm not good with pronouncing such things, cojita cheese, which I think is more of a Mexican based crumbly cheese, similar to, um, feta, but different in taste. Um, I'm a feta girl. So I put feta on anything and everything. Doesn't matter what. So that's what I'm going to put on here. I'd like my pieces to be a little smaller though. Okay. I just feel like feta just makes things look pretty. I love the taste of it. Look at that there. A little extra. Okay. Now yeah. let's finish this off then a little greenery. Some cilantro, one of those things you either love it or hate it. I'm a fan. Oh, now my hands are wet, so it's sticking. But just a little sprinkle on top here. Tell me in chat, you guys like cilantro, don't like cilantro? I've heard that if you don't like it, it's because it tastes like soap, which I wouldn't like it either then, I suppose. Delicious. You love it. Okay, good. We got some fans. All right. So there we go, guys. Get out a plate. And ta-da. There is your spicy chicken stuffed spaghetti squash. And I am super pumped to try this, guys. Let me get a fork. And I will try it. I'm even going to try it before I take a picture, which is a big deal for you guys. Just so you know, because I'm all about food pictures. Um, let me see. Okay, let me bring back my video here. And look at the time, guys, too. We made this dish, minus me microwaving it beforehand. But we made this dish in like 20 minutes, right? Okay, let's try it. Get some chicken, get some squash, the cheese, everything right in there. Okay, I'm going big bite. Ready? Hold on. Mmm. 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 That is so good. Mmm. That is so good. Like, really good. It is spicy. That chipotle salsa is spicy. Um, not, I say that, but not like overly spicy, but it has a little bit of kick. I'm not like I need to run for water right now. Sorry. Um, but it's good. And the yogurt has that nice creaminess. Cilantro, I would, if you like cilantro, definitely finish it off with the cilantro because that was a nice little bite in there. I almost wonder what this would be like with like a squeeze of um, lime juice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
could be good. Um, it is a savory recipe. I will um, include the recipe along in my follow-up email as well as the um, link to the recording. I saw how about black beans instead of chicken. I think that that would be a great way to make this vegetarian. Absolutely. I think that's a great idea. Um, how will I store the other piece? I will probably wrap it up in saran wrap and put it in the fridge that way or just an airtight container. And then you could, you know, make this again tomorrow. You could save the spaghetti squash for something else. Um, lots of possibilities there. This is definitely one to make, guys, for sure. And spaghetti squash is on sale right now. I believe I saw the sign said 99 cents per pound, so which is a really great deal for spaghetti squash. So definitely check that out. Do you eat the squash? Yes, absolutely. That was that spaghetti part, part that we um, that we did. If you're asking, do you eat the skin of the squash, like the base? Um, I would say no. Uh, the spaghetti squash skin is going to be a little bit more tough than a lot of other squash skins. So not the most palatable, but you could. Um, <clears throat> so I saw somebody um, mention some other things in here. Go Phillies. Yep, they're on tonight. So that's fun and exciting. This could be a good dish to make for dinner tonight. Watch the game. Um, all right, I'm going to stop my recording, but if anybody has any other